Awards. Our first award category is Advanced Technologies. The award is for outstanding international success in the field of information technology, digital technologies, software, hardware or digital services. To present the award is Assistant Minister for Trade and Assistant Minister for Manufacturing, Senator the Honourable Tim Ayres. Before we invite him on stage, let's find out about this year's Advanced Technologies finalists. I, uh, I'm delighted to, uh, in my dual role as Assistant Minister for Trade and for Manufacturing, to be presenting this award. Technology Matters, $167 billion uh, in Australia of GDP in technology, uh, growing at 16% every year. These are, the, these are good jobs being generated in this sector, lifting national productivity, but also, of course, finding new ways of building industrial capability here in Australia. Uh, and working with our international partners to use technology to solve global problems. I'm absolutely delighted to announce that there are two winners uh, in, this, in this category. Uh, and so the second joint winner of the Advanced Technologies Award is Prophecy International. Uh, thank you so much to uh, the, the, the judges. Look, Prophecy has actually been trading in Australia for over 40 years and is one of the pioneers of the Australian software industry. Uh, it's been a South Australian software stalwart for many, many years. And more recently, we've been focused on big data globally uh, in a couple of different areas, in cybersecurity and in uh, customer experience analytics. But I think our big opportunity is in cybersecurity. We have over 3,000 customers in more than 60 countries. We do business with um, many governments around the world, defence, military, large enterprise. Uh, we're incredibly proud of the fact that we're taking Australian innovation, technology innovation to the world, and we're looking forward to doing more and more of that. Uh, I'd really like to thank the Austrade team for their engagement with Prophecy globally. Uh, we, we deeply engage with Austrade in, in multiple geographies and they're really helping us open doors and uh, create opportunities around the world. And it's really, really important that we continue to work with them. Uh, I'd just like to acknowledge my great team. We've got something like 110 staff around the world. Uh, we, we operate out of Adelaide in South Australia, Koshi, uh, in a smaller office in Sydney. Uh, we've also uh, got a subsidiary in Manila in the US and in the UK. And about 85% of our revenue is generated from international markets, and we want to continue doing that for Australian exports. So thank you very much. Um, what, what an export history. Years of exporting you had here when you first started. <laughs> but when you first started exporting, what, when you look back, what would you like to have known back then that you've learned along the way? So I've been with the company for about seven years as CEO. And I think the, the number one thing about cracking an international market is having boots on the ground. You've got to have people in the markets that you're addressing. Uh, you need people that understand how those markets operate. There are cultural differences in every market and you need people that can navigate for uh, that really effectively. That's a great tip. Congratulations. Well done.